I was diagnosed with FA when I was 12. When I was 13, I was researching it on the internet and I saw that there were no treatments available and so I was looking into ways that I could help myself. So I applied to a medical magnet program in high school. I learned that being a doctor is not going to help if there's no treatment available. You have to go into actually researching the treatments. And I realized that like, because FA is a genetic disease, a lot of the really promising therapies that were in the pipeline are genetic therapies. And so I really wanted to learn more about how they worked and how I could help advance them. I met Chandra uh, as a patient, and now she's on the other side doing research in our lab. She's studying a different progressive genetic condition. However, she is a great resource as she's always helping the group that's actually working on fidget ataxia. Some of the people that live in the lab, they don't have that contact with patient. And so for uh, Chandra being there is really a reminder. We see the urgency every day whenever she walk in in the lab. I met Chandra at the age of 18. We both went to the University of South Florida. We're both researchers and we're patients. So we can truly understand why all of this time and effort and all these things that are required of patients are necessary because as researchers, we're like, we need them. People usually sign up for research studies hoping that maybe they'll get to try something that might help them. But there's other studies that just watch how the disease progresses, and those are equally as important as trying medicines. Every piece of data that people give is really important. I'm a patient and I understand like the patient perspective, but I'm also a participant in research. I also have my own research because I'm a graduate student and I feel like I have a unique role in kind of connecting all of these things to like better the world for patients and researchers and the government to all communicate with each other better. Chandra is honestly fearless um, in the way that she approaches her life. I think everyone in her life that truly knows her knows to never underestimate her and like how stubborn and determined she is about everything in life. For both Chandra and Christian, like they've had to face that time doesn't go on forever and like health doesn't go on forever at a young age. It's made them kind of like realize and take an attitude towards like living in the now and that's kind of helped me live more so in the moment and appreciate the present. My people are primarily like my really close friends the, the people that I've created a family with are just really important to me. I was looking at genetics and I knew that UF had a good program. So I had told him how this program was great. So he applied and also got in. And then um, we were like, well, we have to live together now. So if we both go here, like it's perfect. Our relationship and friendship has consisted primarily of just being there for one another and just in support. I think it's very cool to have someone that is knowledgeable not only about our disease and those experiences, but also about the science behind it. Like my life, I think, would be so much different if I didn't know Christian. And like, although we met at school, like ultimately it was because of, because of Farah, because I went to that school because I wanted to do research that Farah started. So I would tell someone that was just diagnosed with FA that reaching out and meeting other people, people with FA is the best thing that you could do. Any contribution that you make, even just being here, is helping fund trials and helping fund research into how the disease progresses and things like that are so important to actually be able to test medications that could help us. In 2010, reading about FA online looked really bleak. The difference to now is just so amazing. There's so many trials in the works. Um, there's so much research on 
things that could possibly stop and even reverse some of the symptoms of FA. And your support is the reason that we've gone from how it used to be like 12 years ago to how it is now.